Hello and welcome to the third lecture of the third module defining the uh, problem statement of the online course design thinking for engineers. So in this module we'll be uh, talking about in this lecture especially we'll be talking about how to write a problem statement. Nariya peer ko ande problem statement ta yepli yehi dono nee thiriyaad. Adadhe ipadi ko ella data vala collect pani achhe. You have collected all the data. You have come up with all the <coughs> inferences, but you don't know how to put it in a sentence or two. So that is uh, this module will answer that question. We'll have a video at the end of the lecture that will help you a lot. And uh, first, what is a problem statement? It is a concise description of an issue to be addressed or a condition to be improved upon. It identifies the gap between the current state and the desired state of a process or a product. Focusing on the facts, the problem statement should be designed to address the five Ws. why when where what and all those things right so uh that is how you define a problem statement or problem statement and you have to be ready to do it that's how you come up with a good problem statement and uh, the difference between a problem statement and uh, wait you call it a problem statement because it has a problem in it adnala da vanda adha nam problem statement ku kobudrom that's why we address it to as a problem statement and not as a hypothetical assumption there's a difference between an hypothetical assumption uh uh every so long or allegation in bangla for example politicians make the you make use of this word allegation baseless allegation accusations and mari adadu vandu this problem statement is going to differentiate a problem from an allegation or accusation so adukaga da vandu in the problem statement nam use pandrom and uh, this problem statement இது வந்து ஒரு ஒரு ஸ்லைட் மாதிரி நீங்கள் ரெடி பண்ணிக்கலாம் ப்ராப்ளம் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் என்ன இது நீங்கள் எப்படி அட்ரஸ் பண்ண போகிறீங்க வாட் ஆர் கோயிண்ட் பி த பிஸ்னஸ் பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் இட் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் கோயிண்ட் பி த டைம் லைன் தட் யூ ஆர் கோயிண்ட் டு ஃபாலோ டு சால்வ் திஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் வாட் இஸ் கோயிண்ட் பி த கோல் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் த ஸ்கோப் இன் ஆர் அவுட் அண்ட் த டீம் மெம்பர்ஸ் ஹூ ஆர் கோயிண்ட் பி இன்வால்வ் அண்ட் வாட் ஆர் தேர் கோயிண்ட் டு பி தேர் இண்டிவிஜுவல் ரோல்ஸ் ஸோ தேர் இஸ் கோயிண்ட் பி த ஓவர் வியூ ஆஃப் ஹவ் யூ கிவ் அ ப்ராப்ளம் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் it don't need to be in detail but then you can touch upon all these topics so we'll come to this uh, video uh, listen to it einstein once stated that the formulation of the problem is often more essential than its solution and we can't agree more in fact we believe that the writing of an effective problem statement is not just a business skill it's a life skill since you can't start solving a problem until you've identified what the real problem is so what are your burning issues rpm academy has just released mondai for android and apple a mobile app specifically designed to help you write great problem statements easy links to the app can be found on the rpm academy website now are you ready to get started Let's see what it takes to write a great problem statement. Question number 1. What is the problem? Is it related to cost or money, time or access, service or product quality, health, safety or risk? Describe the problem in one or two sentences. Mondai provides several examples to guide you in writing your problem statement. Manufacturing, call center, healthcare and personal. Review the examples provided for each question and enter your response. In minutes, you will have written an effective problem statement and will be one step closer to finding solutions. Question number 2. Why is it a problem? Describe the pain associated with the problem. What is the effect of the problem? Question number 3. Where do you observe the problem? Is the problem isolated to only certain customers, specific products or services? departments or business units locations your home or your office question number 4 who does this problem affect does it affect your customers patients colleagues and staff your family regulatory agencies who is impacted by this problem question number 5 when did we first observe the problem when were you first aware that there was a problem Is it a recent occurrence or has it been around longer? When did it start? Phew, that was a lot of work. You're right. Crafting great problem statements is not easy, but the good news is we're almost done. 
Question number six. How do we observe the problem? Symptoms. What is your proof that there is a problem to begin with? What is your evidence? Question number seven. How often do we observe the problem? What is the error rate or magnitude of the problem? Is there a trend present? Does it only occur in certain seasons or is there a cycle that you can associate with the problem? We're done. By unlocking a great problem statement, you are now steps away to finding a solution. So get Mondai today and start using this powerful free mobile app to help you write, edit, categorize, save, and share great problem statements. So that was a really good video as well as uh, the mobile applications also very useful. I tried it myself and uh, Mondai it's a really good uh, app and uh, you would have seen there are seven questions that uh, one must ask themselves before coming up with a problem statement. The same procedure is followed by any government organization or uh, international organization or a corporate uh, uh, company. So they follow the same structure of seven questions, be it uh, uh, WHO, which is going to define the problem statement of COVID-19 pandemic or uh, even the uh, UNESCO or uh, UN defining the um, the global warming scenario. In the Marla, when the problem statement is defined, they will ask themselves these questions and then come up with solutions to them. This is a proper problem statement. That's why Einstein is saying that if you define the problem precisely and to the point, half of the problem is completed. If you define the problem, you can define the problem. So, defining a problem statement is very important. Okay. And this is going to be the end of this video. I guess this was a short video. Well, this entire module is kind of uh, shorter than the other modules so we'll be back with the next lecture of uh, the defining process where i'll be giving you explaining the various uh, methods by which you can draft your problem statement or the def definition of your uh, customer or client